Hi students. So today we're going to go over how to create a tessellation tile that we're going to use for a rotation and a reflection tessellation. So let's get started. So you're gonna to wanna to start out with either the printout of the equilateral triangle or the one you drew yourself. You're gonna need a pencil, a sharpener, an eraser, pencil crayons, just general things for coloring like markers, pencil crayons, etc. Okay, so I want to show you kind of um, our end goal. So this is a previous student's work. This one was done using a photocopier, so not Google Slides. So as you see, this is a triangle shape and on each side of the triangle is a different face. So we have the snake hair lady, the ogre, and then that other one over there. And then it just rotates and reflects. So there we go close up. So this is kind of the idea that we're doing, but we're gonna be doing the high tech version using Google Slides to replicate the tile instead of a photocopier, okay? So here's our template. As I mentioned, there is a video you can follow if you don't have a printer to print this out. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start drawing with my pencil on each of the sides of the triangle. And I'm going to overlap my drawings with the white area of the paper. So that way I kind of know, um, I guess I get a better idea of if I'm drawing half of the face. Um, what the other half would look like. So I am using the outside area of my triangle to help me. Um, I, I could end up cutting this off later. I'm not going to include or just erasing it or cropping it out. I'm not going to include that part. That, that part that's not inside the triangle. But I am drawing it just for my own reference. So I, um, because of MC Escher, I've been inspired by MC Escher for this, and I was doing some animal faces. So I've chosen three different animals. I'm gonna do a lemur, a lion, and a red panda. And so right now what I'm doing is I'm working on drawing the lemur. So basically your job is to draw half of something on each of the edges of the triangle and then this shape will be repeated and reflected as you saw in the example one. So I'm gonna basically just be drawing this out in pencil. I'm gonna speed up the video um, for that part. All right, so I've finished my lemur and I'm moving on to my lion. And I'm using the same methods that I've always done where I'm breaking down and using guidelines um, whenever possible. So I'm breaking down into sort of simplified shapes and using those guidelines for like where to place the eyes, where to place the nose, that kind of thing. If you remember some of the other videos from earlier. Um, all right, I'm gonna speed up the video again. And on to my red panda. Um, I am looking at reference images of these animals just to sort of simplify them, but I am going for more of a cartoony, simplified style for this uh, art piece. Okay, so for this part, I've decided to draw the lemur's tail. Um, I want to do something now in between the animals because as I mentioned in the slideshow, we want to think about negative and positive space. So I am gonna draw the tail going in between the lemur and the red panda. 
I know that this is going to be reflected on the other side of the triangle. It's going to look like the lemur has two tails, but I'm okay with that. Um, I just wanted to add some sort of other element to kind of attach and unify everything. And then I'm also going to sort of draw uh, like almost like a bubble around each of the faces. So I'm just gonna have like a, a small white space around each of the faces. And then after that, I would have the dark black negative space that I'm actually gonna color in with a black Sharpie just for for visual contrast. So here I go drawing what I just said, what I, what I just called a bubble. Um, so it's just sort of a small white space to let those faces have a little bit of space. And then that area that I just drew a line around will end up being colored in with black Sharpie. Okay, so now I'm going to go and add color to my each of my animals and I am kind of thinking about how am I going to create contrast so I do want to have some dark darks which is why like I mentioned I'm planning on having that black background um, as the example that I showed also had but I also want to have, I don't want everything to be really dark. Uh, so I'm going to try to have bright colors in there as well. But I also do want to be realistic sort of to the animals. So I am going to kind of have their real coloring. Um, so anyways, I'm using markers, pencil crayons um, together. And I'm just going, I'm probably going to speed up the video at this point. Um, but basically, yeah, I'm, I'm just coloring in the areas, um, thinking about contrast and thinking about um, negative space as well. And as you'll also notice, I am using a fine liner to kind of outline some of the areas. Um, and here I am doing some black stripes on the ring-tailed lemur's tail. Um, so yeah, as I, there we go with the fine liner. As I mentioned, I'm just doing my best to add contrast and some detail as much as I can while kind of maintaining that bright cartoony feel. All right, I'm going to now switch to time lapse. For the coloring and I will see you when it's all done. All right. So I'm almost done. Remember the next stage is to take a good photo of your triangle. I would also suggest to not cut it out like I did. It will be easier for the next stage. <laughs> 